Hi guys, today's tutorial is how to clone somebody in Photoshop. Okay guys, now I've got this video that I've made, no, it's auto, and we've got it in the different spots. And basically what we're going to do, we're going to take a screen capture of the video in the different spots. So it says we're there, there, and there, and there. So the first one's going to be there. What we're going to do, we're just going to get the screen done. In the Macintosh, it's Shift Command 3. Now, with Windows, I'm not too sure exactly what it is, but you can, I'll have to Google it and find out. And um, there's another one just there. Right, Command Shift 3. Basically, all we're doing is a screen dump, a screen dump, a screen dump. Screen dump is the best way to do it because basically, if um, when we take the photos, um, we've got the same size measurement right around. So I'll show you what I mean later on. And then since she, then she's on one very close, like that. Three, and that's it. Then we're done with that. Okay. Photoshop. We got new. Click on new. Now resolution, we'll take it up to 300 dpi. That way you get a nice crystal clear pick. Okay. Now we're going to select all those photos that we took screen dumps of with the video. So what we're going to do, um, the first thing is we're going to do is go to file and go to scripts. Load files into stack because it's a lot easier this way. Otherwise, you're going to select each individual folder, photo, and you're going to have to select all, copy, and paste it into the one document. So it's a lot easier this way to do it in a whole batch. We go to browse. Now we've got screenshots. Now we took these screenshots here. I know they're, they're on my phone, on my desktop. And look at the time: 42, 42, 42, 43. So they're the ones that I'm after. Hit OK, and what they'll do, they'll load up into the one file on the screen. And there they all are. So I'll get rid of the other one. Just now, the, here is where the fun action happened. Right, now, on the left of each of one of these layers, We've got the eye thing that selects to turn the actual image on. Okay, so we've got them all there. Now, what we're going to do, select the first one on the right here, bottom right, there's a little square. And I'll zoom out so you can actually see the words. It says, you can just hover over with your cursor, add layer mask. We do that one, select the next one, do the next one, next one, like that. So that's what we're going to do. One on one, you don't really have to do, but just for illustration purposes, we're going to do it that way. Select the first one. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And we're going to get the, because we're in the mask mode, we're going to use the brush tool. We've got the black and then we've got the white, as you can see on the bottom left here. These two colors. Now, black removes. It's not going to work because I haven't selected properly yet. But anyway. Um, black removes and white reveals. Just remember it that way. So, right, now here is the, <laughs> the most important thing a lot of people have an issue with. Okay, so we've got it all selected. The, go back to it and get the brush tool. Make sure we get the right size. Now, what's going to happen if I so select, select the actual layer like this, right? I start doing it and get black which is not what we want. So we go back. What we're after, instead of just selecting the actual layer, you actually got to select the white part here. Click that. See how the little arrow mask went around it? Now we do the black and voila. It's revealing the layer underneath. All we're doing here is just painting with the paintbrush tool. That's all we're doing. Okay. That's all we're doing here. So it's pretty amazing how that happens. That works. So that's worked out quite well. 
Okay. Now we just do that for all the other layer maps. Okay, select the white part of it. Get rid of that one now. And get rid of this to see what you want. Ah, that's the one. That's what we want. That's what we want to remove that area there. So we just select it. So make sure you've got the white area selected. And just color it in with the bright brush tool. Move that one. Just work on this one now. Make sure you click that little white part. Move it. Okay, so it's the block inside that we want to see. Now what I'm doing here to hold this and move the actual whole entire image across is holding down the spacebar key with the cursor. Okay, and we just start painting here. Now it's going to be tricky because what's going to happen here, she's going to overlap her hands there. Okay, we'll go right down to it like that. Okay. Now here, it's going to be a little bit trickier. So what we're going to do is just going to zoom in. And it depends. Okay. For instance, if we want her to be in front, she's got to be in front of her because she's a smaller version of her like that. So she's got to be the front one. However, you, you can just chop, chop them around by just drag and drop one picture over the top of the other picture. So what I'm going to do is just going to bring the brush size down. And we're just going to draw over the hand. See? Just like that. Cut all that in, cut the rest of her in there, rest of her shoulder, um, there we go. Okay, so we're pretty much done guys, so we just put all the layers active again. Now, what we're going to have to do here, we're going to have to make sure that all these areas are deselected, so we're just going to cut it. Because that's all we're doing, basically, with the other layers. Same thing. This one. Cut out that section. And then we'll cut out that section. Cut out, cut out, cut out. Right, now, this one. If you don't know which layer it is, it, uh, it's at fault. You zoom in. You just get the move tool. Click on the picture and automatically comes up with these transformation blocks so it lets you know which one it is. And it comes up here which one it is that we're looking at. Okay, and again, it's gonna go around her shoulder, around her arm. And this is a good example, actually. Now, if I wanted to change this, I wanted to put her in front of the other one. It's not hard to do. All we have to do is drag and drop the actual layer in front of the others. So to say for instance, I want to swap these two over, right? First of all, I select that one. See which which one it is. That one. That one there. Which is this one. Okay, so if I drag that and put it on top of it. Then again, I'll have to remove all that effect there. So I'm not going to do that. Anyway, that's basically how you can, what they say, clone yourself or clone someone else. So there we go, guys. Hopefully that's giving you some information. Easiest way to do this. Um, you can use either one you want. You can use that. With the brush tool, make sure that you've got the yellow, the white button next to the layer selected. However, if you do, if you you can just use the eraser tool, but it's a lot easier this way. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And that's how you do a clone. That's how you clone yourself. Cheers. Mm -hmm.